I sure do love submarine movies. One of the biggest and best Hollywood Cold War thrillers. It's often flown under the radar for those other than retro movie and Better Call Saul fans. Something landed at the North Pole and was picked up by a research station there. Whatever it is launches expeditions from both the US and Russia, with a few red herrings thrown into the mix. The plot isn't exactly action-packed, but it is very deliberate and in some ways feels procedural during the scenes on board the Tigerfish. Much seems very well researched, and so if you're paying attention, it's a very engrossing movie. The characters are an interesting assortment, the most fun being Ernest Borgnine and Patrick McGowan, plucked from shooting his Prisoner series to be in this film. Rock Hudson plays an understated but still effective captain. You might sound you're trying to think. And Jim Brown, though seemingly underutilized, does serve a purpose and makes a dramatic impression. Though the plot seems slow at times, when action does occur, it's gripping. I certainly credit some of this impact to Michel Legrand's score. Though associated mostly with French New Wave and similar fare, he contributes a brilliantly American score here. As I said, things move at a deliberate pace, but from the start the dramatic weight of the situation is carried with each scene. This is even helped by the special effects, specifically underwater model effects, that are striking and veristic. Even more striking are these shots that seem quasi-surreal, but with the sounds of roaring engines are a perfectly stylish representation of the impending Russian threat. Ice Station Zebra might feel slower than some more well-known thrillers, but it has plenty of suspense, visual interest, and payoffs to warrant it as an overlooked classic. <laughs> 